We all know Drake's pirate acronym. Passion, integrity, reflection, attitude, teamwork, empathy, and scholarship. But how many people in the Drake community actually apply these things to their daily lives at Drake? In theory, these ideals make us a close-knit, kind-bonded community. Then again, we all know high school is not always like that. So how do people really view the Drake community? We want to know if our school is as truly accepting as we try to be. First, we interviewed the student who we thought would be most involved with the Drake community, the student council president, Jack Morton. We asked how he perceives the Drake students and the interactions between them. I feel like Drake is very accepting to everyone. Um, I think actually it's one of Drake's best qualities. Um, just I have friends at other high schools and stuff like that, and I know that there's so much freshman hazing, like the school that does like Freshman Friday where they egg all the freshmen. And, um, I even know like currently, I mean, it's not um, the seniors are doing a really good job at um, making our freshmen feel welcome and safe. Our link crew program is phenomenal. Um, and I think that our school is known for being really accepting and you can walk down the halls and you'll have someone say hi to you and you know that we're a really strong community and we, um, we're one of the more accepting schools out there. And I'm, it's like one of the reasons I go to this school, you know. So, that's good to hear. Jack talked about Drake's kindness towards the freshmen. It seems like Drake does pretty well accepting others and people in the Drake community believe it too. Of course, not everyone is accepting of each other all the time. We wondered how Drake compared to other schools and places. We interviewed Megan Haler, a Drake graduate who is now a freshman at SDSU, to get her opinion. Uh, do you think your school is like more accepting than Drake? Of like everyone? And no. Everything? I hear that's gay so often. It's so weird compared to Drake. Oh. Like like another kid, Marty Davison, who went to Drake as well. We were talking. He was like, "Isn't it weird how you hear that's gay, like gay dude and stuff like that all the time?" And I was like, I know, right? Like, we were both so weirded out by it because, like, at Drake, it's like, it's really uncool if you say that. This shows not everyone is as conscientious of the effects of their words on others as Drake is because SDSU has people from many places. Only three Drake grads went there. Some students at other schools say but things Drake that Drake students, students weren't and still by. aren't always as kind with their words. We interviewed Mrs. Haler, who is a Drake graduate as well as a teacher and a parent of a Drake student. We asked her how it used to be at Drake and how it is today. This is what she's heard. Okay, so I would say that there are two key things that I've had some time to think about this question. So my two key things that I would say are some po one positive and one negative. So one positive thing is when I was here, a lot of a lot of people would just say, "Oh, that's gay. You're gay." That person's a bad, whatever, and they would use a lot of that kind of terminology, and that's something I don't hear anymore. And, um, talked about that and, and that's something kids aren't saying anymore which is fantastic. Now the negative is that when I was here, you know, girls would constantly get called up stuff like a slut or something. And I still hear that. I still hear girls talking about other girls that way. And I just think to myself, one, whatever they're doing is none of your business. And so, you know, don't talk about girls that way. And whatever they're doing with their sexual lives, you know, if they really are, you know, being unhealthy, then if anything, it should elicit compassion, not criticism and ridicule. So that's something I would like to see um, change. That's one of the negatives that is still here that was here when I was here, too. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Thank you. Um, as a parent, would you like to see that change, too? Because... What oh, like absolutely, as a parent. I mean, I think most of us are raising our kids to, we're raising our kids in a way that we're really um, tolerant and accepting of our kids' strengths and weaknesses, and we would like to see them be tolerant um, of others as well. Okay. Miss Haler talked about name-calling at Drake and that it hasn't gone away, it's just changed. However, there isn't as much name-calling here as at other schools. Or is there? We wanted to talk to Ms. Cavan, who has taught at other schools with very different backgrounds. We asked her what she loved most about Drake. I think um, the thing that I love most about Drake is the, the community that the kids have together. I think that um, it's really easy to find a comfortable place for yourself as a kid in the school. And, I don't, and while I know that there is bullying that goes on and there, there are you know, exceptions, I think in general, um, the kids are 
great with each other. You know, and I really love that. So when you said you know there is bullying, do you think that the administration and the teachers and the other kids even, do you think they're trying to do everything they can to stop that? I think I think it's a it's a really tough issue. I think that I certainly think that when teachers and administrators and when when we see it, we act on it. Um, among kids, however, it's pretty hard to call somebody out on behavior like that because usually it's a person who, um, while they probably don't have much power, and that's why they're a bully, they um, they can they can feel sort of powerful and hard, and hard to go up against. You know, so I think I think that's a pretty hard place for kids to stand there. Do you see much of that within the SLCs, or do you think the SLCs build a stronger community within the classes? Well, it's been my experience that they, that the um, there's a pretty strong community. I think I'd be surprised if I was told by kids that you know that that wasn't the case. I, um, it feels to me like a strong community, and especially after you know after over the course of two years, when the kids get to know each other really well. You know, I, I don't still see a lot of, um, you know, bad interaction between kids. That's good to hear. Do you have any closing comments for the documentary? I just think you guys are doing a great job. I think you're, you're a model of what, uh, what it is you're trying to find out about. After all of our interviews, it is clear that Drake is a pretty tight-knit, kind community for a public high school. We are accepting of each other, and we respect each other. Compared to other schools, we have a positive attitude, a passion for learning, and integrity for the things we say. Despite this, we have some things we need to work on. Passion, integrity, reflection, attitude, teamwork, empathy, and scholarship.